Hello, I'm David. And I'm Tanya. And we are outside by side. Today we're going to make a quiet box for our Win DF 400i generator that we recently purchased. You can see that video. We'll put the link below. We've been real happy with this generator. It's uh, very quiet. It runs our air conditioner and uh, most of the things that we need to run on our RV. But what I wanted to do was see if I could make it a little bit quieter so that when we're at the campsite, we don't have to listen to it. Or our neighbors don't have to listen to it. Also, it's nice to be able to protect it from the weather, from the rain, and also the UV rays from the sun. We're gonna take some extra plywood that I have in the garage and uh, just kind of see if we can mock something up and put it together and see if it helps. Stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to need a measuring tape and a pencil because you're going to measure your generator and determine how long and how wide you want your quiet box. We are going to use, we have some leftover wood and we're going to use three quarter inch thick wood for the sides and we're going to use half inch wood for the top. The piece of wood that I have here is uh, roughly two foot by four foot so it's about two foot wide or 24 inches. Our generator is uh, almost 24 inches, so that's going to work out well for the width. And then I'm going to make it about 21 inches tall uh, to make sure that the lid will clear the gas tank. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, marking off our cuts. We're going to use our circle saw to make these cuts. This is what we have so far of our cuts and uh, what I've decided to try to do is uh, when we bought the generator it came with this white foam that was in the box to protect it from shipping and so I've designed it to where I have a little bit of space to get some of this in here. You can see the gas cap right there. We have enough clearance for the gas cap and we might have enough clearance to get a piece of that foam in there too. We'll see. The way that this generator is designed is it, uh, it needs to breathe. So here's your exhaust. Uh, these vents right here are where the air that comes in from the bottom of the front, it, the hot air is blown out. So we're going to leave the whole back side of this box open completely. And uh, we'll just point it away from the campsite. On the front of the box, we need to have a opening at the bottom to pull the fresh air in because this generator pulls the air in from the front at the bottom. Also, this opening or window will be where the extension cords can drop down and come out of the bottom. Um, I'm also wanting to cut a window right here so that we can see the control panel because this has information right here to show us how much watts we're pulling and also how much gas we have in the tank. So you want to kind of be able to keep an eye on your generator and if you have it in a box you wouldn't be able to see that. Uh, I'm designing this box to where if you want to put fuel in it you just lift it up and put gas in the top. I'm not going to cut a hole in the top uh, to pour gasoline in that way. By the way, I've never done this before, and uh, so, you know, I'm not an expert, 
we're just <laughs> we're just gonna try it out and see what happens. <laughs> On this cut right here, we're going to have to drill a hole in the wood to be able to get the jigsaw in it. So I'm just going to use this uh, 7 8 inch spade bit. Now we're going to uh, clean up all of our rough cuts with a file so we don't get any splinters. I'm going to go over it with our dual action sander. Ring shank, galvanized, exterior, nails. So I've uh, cut a piece of clear acrylic that I'm going to use as a window uh, that I'm going to attach uh, from the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and drill me a couple holes for the screws. Here's our generator running with the decibel meter without the cover. Um, it's pretty quiet. So here's our generator running now. As you can see, it is quieter. It went from about 69 to about 63, 64 with the cover that we built. So we've completed our quiet box. It did quiet it a little bit. I didn't expect it to make that much of a dif difference because the inverter is already pretty quiet. But I am happy with uh, being able to protect it uh, from the rain and the weather. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we appreciate our subscribers and our community. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.